Okay, we'll do another test here with the Fujifilm X-H2, or as I just call it, the Fuji X-H2. I turned my audio down from the last video, so the audio in the camera is now set to negative 7.5 dB, uh, and then my microphone, which is that again that Godox wireless mic, uh, it's set to negative 0.1 dB. Uh, it just, well actually it's just minus one, I don't know what the dB level is, it's just, um, it's like negative one to like negative seven or something. Anyway, so this this time, um, let me tell you what I was going to do. I was going to do HK, 8K, 8K, 30 frames a second, uh, H265, all I, 422, uh, an MOV format for the container in the movie, the, the uh, file format, and 360 megabytes per second for the uh, data rate. But um, having trouble with, I just did a 19 second clip to upload to YouTube and see if it would process into 8K, but so far it hasn't, it's been over an hour or so, and it went to 4K pretty quickly as far as processing. Again, it was only 19 seconds, uh, just as a test. So since I probably, I'll come back to that later, see if I can get 6K and 8K to process correctly on YouTube. But uh, for now, um, just want to do a quick test with 4K HQ, which is the, it's, Fuji calls it 4K HQ. It's the 8K downsample to uh, oversampling, taking it down to 4K. Um, this is H264 for the codec, all I, so all intra uh, 420. And it's against the move MOV file, and it's 360 megabytes per second. IBIS is turned off, image stabilization. Um, what else? I'm using the Astia profile in the camera, the film simulation, Astia. Um, sharpening plus one, and that's the only changes. There's no, no editing at all to this video. So if it works out like it did that last video, um, it's really nice. Um, I noticed that the, uh, this, bright area behind me in the sun, like I'm standing in the shade right now next to a maple tree. Um, so I noticed behind me the last time it was not totally blown out. You know, my face was exposed pretty pretty good. Um, you know, again, there's no exposure compensation used in the camera. Um, and aperture priority, F4, I believe. Let me shutter speed do when it wants. I have no ND filter on the lens. And this is a 16 to 80 millimeter F4 lens from Fuji. Um, so if I step out, you see the focus change because I have face and eye detect active uh, which just does a great job usually and uh, the other thing um, you know you should see the exposure change but you should see the the uh, focus change obviously so it should be fairly blurry behind me when I'm in in the camera and um, stepping into the Sun just a little bit here so again if I step out to the side so it's just a quick sample of the 4k HQ which again is the 8k down sampled over sampling whatever takes it down to 4k getting a 4k video out of 8k so yeah i think i'm gonna stop since i made that other video pretty long you didn't really need to see me going back and forth in frame probably what i'll do i just say what i'll normally use this for uh the way i'll normally use video because i don't do any video editing i just take it straight out of the camera so that's why i like it to be easy um, so, so far I love the output from the Astia film simulation, um, just straight from the card up to YouTube and that's it. Um, I'll probably, if I shoot something, um, to demonstrate something, if I'm showing a camera or doing something like that, it'll be probably in 60 frames per second, uh, cause the motion will be a lot more smoother, you know, and it's, if you're trying to just, you know, do a show and tell with something like a camera, you know, and you're like showing, you know, look at this, look at that. Um, at 24 frames a second, it's probably going to be too, too much kind of motion blur, whatever you want to call it. It's just not going to be very smooth motion. And by the time, you know, the motion stops and I'm, I, I remember to stop and hold it in, in front of the camera to let you look at it for a second. Um, maybe I've already moved it, but so it's a lot easier to use 60 frames a second for that, for the, for the things that I'm doing. Anyway, I'll do a little back and forth real quick. Uh, but the lens I have set to 35 millimeters, so sort of like a 50 millimeter equivalent on full frame. Uh, it's a little bit wider than that last video I did. I'm just out here on a quick break from my lunch lunch hour, and uh, thought I'd do this. Let's see. Right now, I'm probably 25 feet or so from the camera. 
what is that in yards or meters? So three, six, nine, 21, seven, maybe eight meters. Somewhere in the, so eight, seven is 21, sometimes 321, you know, 24 is so be about eight. Eight times three, did I get that right? Long ago, I did the math, math, math multiplication table. So, you know, I don't, I don't know if they even teach that anymore. I still remember just off the top of my head things like seven times nine is 49. Was it nine times eight is 56? I think that's right. It's useful to remember that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Um, again, I'm just using the Fuji app Bluetooth control to just trigger the recording and stop the recording. So start and stop. So that's 4K HQ. Um, again, read it off for you here real quick. Okay, H.264 is the codec, um, all lie, so all intro. Uh, it's not, it's not, um, I don't think the camera does line skipping, like interlaced, I think is what they used to call that. Um, it, the, the other option besides all lie is what they call long GOP, uh, long group of pictures, I think is what it stands for. I just looked this up the other day. I don't know that much about video. But from what I understand, long GOP or long GOP, um, anything moving in the frame, it'll keep recording that separately. But if it sees like a static image like that, that uh, corn crib or whatever back there, uh, it's not moving. So it'll just keep reusing that image so it doesn't have to, you know, keep adding data. But this uh, all I should be individual frames for every everything. So um, 30 frames a second and there'll be 30 individual frames, as I understand it, um, per second, the whole frame. Um, and again, 360 megabytes. Um, the other thing, just real quick, um, I downloaded the codec on my Windows. It's a Windows 11 machine. Um, I tried to play it with the photos and TV app, my H.265 video, the sample from this, and it complained about the codec missing and do I want to download and up, you know, buy the codec for 99 cents. So I did that and it still doesn't play. And I've seen other people complaining about that um, on the Microsoft forum. So I'm just moving around to, for the focus issue, you know, to let you see what it does. Um, so anyway, I can't really play H.265 videos. And when I get really big like that, that even that 19 second clip, uh, I tried to open it in video, you know, video land. Um, what's the name of that? Oh, that that app, VLC player, whatever, VLC, I think is what it is. But I think the, the full name was like Video Land, something or other. Um, even in that, it'll open and show me the first screen, the first image and start playing audio. And it just, it doesn't really play the video. It just plays the audio and the, the image doesn't move at all. It's just too much. So I'd probably be sticking to 4K, but if I can get a 8K sample that I know will upload and um, process correctly on YouTube, I'd like to do that just as an example. Uh, and I'll just have to take it straight from the card and put it on YouTube and hopefully they uh, get it correct. And I'm going to go back and look again. I'll watch that the rest of the day. It's just a private 19 second clip I uploaded for myself. And I want to see if that um, will eventually process into 6K and then 8K. Uh, right now it says 4K and it doesn't look like it's processing any further, you know, like it's done. So. I don't know, so I'm kind of suspicious if it will end up getting processed to 6 and then 8K. So hopefully it will because then I'd like to make a little nice uh, cinematic video of the sun setting behind uh, some of this grass or the leaves as they're fluttering around.